Hello you, welcome to the Retro Tech 100 Facebook pages 20 PRK challenge. This week it's my choice. I am going for five wins in a row this week and I have chosen a game that not many people know about but I really enjoy. It's a, it's a game series that's been around a while, um, since 1994. It's had a series of games in its library. The game is Taisen Tokai Dama. It's a puzzle game, much like the Jeweled Columns, Pokemon Puzzle League, you know, that kind of thing. It's a simple match three, but with an insane twist. Insanity. This is um, very, very strange. Um, it does have sound emulation issues, unfortunately, on main. Um, there is a PlayStation version available, but as this is the 20p arcade challenge, I'm going for the original arcade ROM of the game. Now, without further ado, let's see how far we can get through this weirdness with just two credits. Furthest wins. In practice, I've been getting about 5th, 6th, occasionally 7th level. This game warms you up gently and then just turns the heat on you completely crazily. Um, gets really tough really fast each of the characters available have their own kind of patterns where you um, You basically have these little square blocks which you send over to your opponent to try and stop them from getting combos combos and uh, Yeah, every character has its own different variation of that very similar to uh, super puzzle fighter 2 turbo in that regard um, So we've got these whole range of characters Including three extra ones that are hidden in the arcade version. You press B, the second button, as you uh, select your difficulty level, you'll unlock those. I'm going to go for this giant man baby with the ribbon in its hair. I have no idea what his name is, and it's not important. Let's get to it. Here we go, round one. So, as you can see, I've got these Icarus rings around the ball selector. I can pick up any ball or square that I like and drop it anywhere on the board that there is a space for it to drop. If I drop it above a place where there is a, a gap, it will just drop into the next available spot. I've got to make a row of three or more in any kind of shape, providing that all the balls touch each other. Um, I'm not personally a big fan of when my balls touch. Normally get stuck to my leg, but I know that is a different story for a different day. I'm gonna grip my balls in the meantime and just destroy this woman to my right with them. There we go. I'm trying to get cascading combos working, but as there are very few balls at the moment in play, it's difficult to do that. So I'm doing drop drop-ins of you know, two, maybe three, but I'm hoping later on I'll be able to do massive combos for super damage. Like this one, that's a five combo. Yeah. <laughs> she is not going to combo out of that, is she? Surely not. She is, you know. An eight hit combo, really? Game is already kicking my ass. So much for letting me in gently, huh? I am nearly dead already. Okay, survived. And I win. That was a hard battle, man. That was hard. Me too. 
as I say, apologies for the sound emulation in this. Uh, it's not fully emulated correctly. Just a shame. As I say, you're probably better off playing this on the PlayStation. Um, however, an even better version of it to play is uh, a game called Susume Taisen Puzzle Dama on the Nintendo 64. It was only released in Japan, and it's such a great game. It's probably better than this version, to be honest. It's certainly a lot crazier. You got some really, really wacky characters in that one with wacky combos going left, right, and centre. Um, it was, as I say, it was only released in Japan. And if I ever get round to making a top N64 games of all time list, I will do those lists again eventually when I have the time and the inclination. Um, and when I do, that game will certainly be on it. But right now, I am just clearing the way. Trying to set up something good. Anything at all, really. There's not an awful lot for me to work with here. Single, single combos at the moment. Not good enough. I need to get the opposition fast and real hard. Otherwise they just come back and they trounce you because when their screen is full of balls, they have many, many, many more opportunities to make combos and cascades that that can ruin your day in a hurry. But I want to get a good enough lead to make sure that can't happen. It's just not working on this round. This is going to be a hard fought game the whole way through, I can sense it. Not just this match, but the whole the whole playthrough is going to be rough. Look, I'm, I'm nearly dead already. Again, I'm level 2. <clears throat> but I have got a good cascade going. That might save me, actually. Oh, it's a taste door. Certainly put a stop in their tracks. And we win. Me and my hefty star-shaped man boobs. Move on to level three. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna get a hefty whack from his combo soon. Can I negate it? Well, I only get one line, but that's not too too bad. I can cope with one line. Ah. 
Okay, 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 here we go. Mr. Scientist. Let's move on to level four. I have nothing to work with. No doubt she's going to recover. Yeah, look at that. Here it comes. Get in there. Uh, my combo did nowhere near enough damage. Or maybe it didn't, it was just a lag. This is gonna finish her off. How you like them apples, lady? For a dip in the pool. Wow. Up a touch. Give us more room to maneuver. More room for c -c 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 combo. Is that a fish? What the hell's going on? Level six now. Up against the singer. Six. I have no idea what their real names are. As I say, it doesn't really matter, so. Oh, he's going into a combo already. Combo tirade. Mm. 
Yes. 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 No. Where do I go? Okay, well that answers that question. It's going to go on its own. And he's out of here. Bye-bye, buddy. Level 7. And this is where I struggle. It was the same guy, actually. Um, in practice, I keep getting knocked to this guy. I don't know if he's a boss or whatever or something. But he's a he's a bit of a ball lake. Get it? Playing a ball puzzle game. Ball lake. He's a ball buster, that's for sure. Because he busts his balls. And they come screaming over to my side of the map. Causing me a whole host of problems. I'm gonna die. I need a combo. I need a miracle. You ask for a miracle, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the FB. in the game. And we're out of the game again. Come on. Give me a good cascade. Good cascade, please. My hopes are on this cascade. You can do it! Ooh. No! Oh, that's the same. That's me out. Four. So that is credit one down on level seven. It's so difficult. Um, I'm going to go for this couple. Here we go, level seven.
isn't good. I'm not confident in this at all. Look at that, it's too fast. So there we have it, level 7 ladies and gentlemen. Level 7, it gets real hard, real quick. I have not beaten this guy in practice or otherwise. He's hard as balls. And slightly unfair. Now where do I get on the scoreboard? Oh yeah, nowhere. Wonderful. That goes to show how much I suck. But there we have it. That is Taisen Tokai Dama. It's a great little game by Konami. Released in 1996. Um, and it's part of the Puzzle Dama series. Ch please check it out. It's, it's a great little game. Never got the love it deserved. Especially the N64 version, as I said. Susume Taisen Puzzle Dama. Um... Check it out. Check it out. Please do. And if you want to join into the challenge and try and stop me from getting five in a row, then go to the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page, you bastard, and join in. Have fun. If Even if you don't win, it's all about playing good good old games, having a bit of challenge with like-minded people. There's, there's no prize money. There's no, there's no win other than, you know, you get to pick next week's game. That's it. It's just a bit of fun and a great excuse to play retro arcade games. If you want to play them, if you want to join in, by all means, join the lovely bunch of the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page. And until next time, bye.